Now, President Joe Biden is getting a lot of pressure from more than two dozen Senate Democrats to sign those executive orders allowing abortion on demand throughout the country. They are encouraging the president to come up with a national abortion plan. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more on that part of the story. The effort urging President Biden to use executive orders to pass abortion on demand is being led by Senators Patty Murray and Elizabeth Warren. The letter signed by more than 20 Democrats comes after I asked Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, is it still the Democrats' mission to codify Roe? The Women's Health Protection Act has the overwhelming support of our caucus. We think that's the way to go. We've had a vote on it. We're awaiting the court decision. The letter lists specific demands like increased access to mailed abortion pills, provide money and transportation for individuals seeking out-of-state abortions, create an office in DHS to oversee these abortion programs, and use federal property and resources to increase access to abortion. These senators are asking President Biden to become a dictator, issue some kind of federal mandate that makes abortion legal everywhere. They don't care what the people want. In the letter, Senate Democrats tell the president, quote, you have the unique power to marshal the resources of the entire federal government to respond. Last month, I Democrats respond. attempted to pass legislation to codify abortion, but the bill fell short of the 60 votes needed to move forward after Senate Republicans and Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, a Catholic, rejected it. Republican Senator Cynthia Loomis calls the Democrats' plan short-sighted. Each state and the American people through their elected representatives in the state can address these issues at the state level. Congressman Mike Waltz tells me this move reflects the Democrats' agenda. This isn't about denying women's rights. This is about protecting that human being, that child's rights. Uh, and, and, I, and I think we have to talk about it in those terms. Democrats tell me that these proposals are only the starting point in their battle to preserve abortion rights. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.